Well, good morning, people. How are you all diddly? It's a warm, bright, sunny one today so far, but it is going to change. Anyway, let's crack on with it. Shut up and sit down. Can't believe I forgot my sat nav. Good start to the day. Oh dear. Set off wrong way and I forgot my bloody sat nav. Yeah, so today, or rather last night, late last night, I messaged my mate Derek, the Wild Century Circle at North Allerton. Hey, look, mate, I was supposed to come to Gav's birthday bash. I couldn't make it yesterday, and I really can't be bothered camping. Do you have any of your camping pods left? And they said, yes, I've got one. It was about 10 o'clock last night. I said, right, save it for me, I'll have it. I'm coming over tomorrow, which is today. So I'm going over to Century Circle, only doing the one night. I'd like to do both nights, but I can't now because that was last night, if you get my drift. So that's where I'm going. I'm having a ride to North Allerton to Century Circle. If you haven't been before, if you never heard of it, uh, it's Derek and he built uh, Yorkshire's equivalent to Stonehenge. So he has a, a stone circle there, uh, he just built loads of camping pods, new toilet block, shower block and what have you. And it's a really nice place and Derek is as sound as they come, down to earth. So if you want a weekend away, or a couple of nights away, get in touch with Derek. It's affordable, there's lots of amenities there and you're not far from a, a local town. And when I said a little bit earlier about it's bright, sunny and warm, but it's, a, it's about to change, that's because it is about to change. And over pretty much the whole of Yorkshire, it's supposed to be raining today, starting about 11, 12 o'clock. And it's going to last most of the day, till early evening, about 6, 7. But I'm not bothered because I'm in a really nice, comfy, heated pod, wooden pod. First time in one. So I'm looking forward to it. And because of the type of thing that it is, at Century Circle, obviously there's no shops on site or anything like that. These are fully equipped kitchen in the barn, which everybody's free to use. And in the pods you do get a microwave, a fridge and a kettle. And bollocks, I forgot the tea bags. And forgetting the tea bags takes me on to the next thing. Um, I have to go to Tesco's first to buy some food and snacks. And now some tea bags and a pint of milk. And bollocks, I forgot my cup as well. I'm hoping there's a cup there. Uh, well, I know they is in, um, in Big Barn Kitchen. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, it's a bit of shopping. Can't get a box, I can't fit it in my panniers. My panniers are full. Uh, well, hello again, people. That's my panniers, bust of... full to busting. Whew, I've got a bit of a sweat on. Cheese and onion pasties and biscuits. That's what I bought. A few cans of strong bow and a nice bottle of brandy. Don't know whether to have a break at... Uh, Helmsley or Thirsk? Not sure. See how I feel when I get to Helmsley. It's only a few miles from Thirsk. Ah, sod it, I'll, I'll do Helmsley. Might fill up with fuel there as well. It's going to be a nice steady away ride. I'm in no rush, rush. I just want to get there before it rain starts. If it's going to be heavy, that is, anyway. Oh, I'm going to have to get past this fucker. I know I've said I'm not in a rush, but this is ridiculous. Well, in the space of a few 
miles, it's got a bit, a bit overcast and dank. Lots of moisture in the air. Don't be surprised if at uh, North Allen it's already peeny down. Because those weathermen do get it wrong, you know. They bloody do. rather dark stuff lying about. Oh the smell of manure. Oh, get a lung full of that. Oh, it's getting a bit cool. My visor. That weather's taking a turn, but worse. Oh the hell. Ah, it's a bit miserable. Whoa, big holy mug. That's gonna need fixing shortly. It's a bit disturbing that how it's all cracked and slipped. What? That's toasty, is that? First time I've had 80 grips on it years. Got a garage in Thursk. Get petrol there. Got a really neat toilet as well. Pleasures of heated grips. How lovely is that? Whoa. And all this time I've been calling you a pussy for having them on. <laughs> Mind you, you do have them on in middle of winter and summer as well.
Right, just coming up to it shortly. Right, it should be this one, I believe. Shut up and sit down.